what is up guys it's your boy back with another video um in this video i wanted to talk about the warriors as you can tell by the title because if you don't know already yesterday the warriors played the clippers and we were officially eliminated from any type of playoff contention which everybody knew so i already know all the haters gonna be like oh y'all are trash this year y'all need kd y'all lost kd to win blah 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 yada yada yappy yappy all of that lovely stuff but that's where i wanted to get a little argumentative because yes kd is a great player i'm not gonna bash him because he helped bring two more championships to golden state back to back um i'm not gonna bash him he's a great player he did a lot for okc he did a lot for Golden State, and honestly, I hope he does well for the Nets when he comes back from his injury. But the reason I wanted to get argumentative is because everyone's always saying, we needed KD, we need KD, we need KD to win. But if you look at the stats, I'm going to bring up one player. Because, yeah, we got Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and a bench of players that could be good in the future but we're a team of young guys right so i'm gonna bring up one player that always seems to go off in the last three to four years he's always gone off in the playoffs and that's clay thompson like simple like clay thompson is a beast when it comes to playoffs like man so in 14 15 and 16 so the 14 15 season and the 15 16 season and the 16 17 season were kind of laid back because we were a dominant team um and we had help all the way around sorry there is a hair and i don't know where so we had help all the way around um but i'm just gonna read off those stats i got them all written down yes i did my research anyway so in the 14-15 season, in the finals, he averaged fifth, almost 16 points per game. And that's obviously against the Cavs because we ran with the Cavs for five years. And we won that year. So still in 14-15, he was a dominant player in the finals. Like he was a key player in the finals. Again, no KD that year. 15-16, this is where he went off in the Western Conference Finals for 41 in game six to help force a game seven and go on to win the western conference finals but as you all know we lost the finals that year bring in the 3-1 jokes i don't care it's in the past whatever ish happens and then in 16 17 he averaged 11 points in the western conference finals against the spurs but then he upped that a little bit and averaged 16.4 in the finals versus the Cavs and we won that year and then we go back to back and in 17-18 he had 35 points in game six versus the Rockets to also win the series and go on to the finals and win the finals back to back against the Cavs again so yeah and then in 2018 and 2019 in the finals he was averaging 26 points per game and averaging 37 minutes per game. Obviously, uh, KD was injured, so guys had to step up, and Clay was one of those. But let's talk about the infamous game six injury that broke Golden State hearts forever. So in game six, it was game six, Clay Thompson. He was going off. So in the third quarter, it was 80 to 30. Golden State was down, I believe. Uh, 80 to 30. Um, Clay had a breakaway layup. Dana Green. Dana? Wow. Okay. Danny Green of the Toronto Raptors, now of the LA Lakers, went up to block the shot. In my opinion, he should have just let him have the layup. But at the same time, it was a close game. But still, he's got the wide open layup. I would just. I would just let him go up for it, like, go up, let him dunk it, and then get the next possession. That's what I would do, but there was nothing dirty about it. It's just, it's an opinionated call, an opinionated decision, but Danny Green went up for the block. Clay Thompson came down wrong, tore his ACL, 
Before that, Clay had 28. And this was with like, I think four or five minutes left in the third. Clay was going off. He then came back after leaving the floor, came back, shot his two free throws, wasn't allowed to come back even though he wanted to. Um, but he was done. And that's basically everyone in Golden State, all Golden State fans knew the series was over once Clay Thompson got injured. Because we all know infamous Clay Thompson goes off in game sixes all the time because he did it against the Rockets, he did it against the Thunder. He's just a walking bucket for game sixes. Well, everyone knew at that time that that game was done, the series was done. And I had a customer, I work for a cab. I work for my parents' cab. I had a customer literally tell me, even if Clay didn't get injured, he didn't think that Golden State was gonna win. A lot of us Golden State fans knew that if Clay Thompson didn't get injured, we would have won the series. It would have been a close game seven because we would have forced a game seven and it would have been a close finish in game six and then it would have been an even closer game seven, but we would have won that series if Clay didn't get injured. Roast me in the comments if you want. I know my team, Curry was going off, Clay was going off. Yes, KD was injured. By the way, this is probably going to get so much hate, but screw the Toronto fans that were cheering when KD got re-injured in Toronto in game four. Screw you guys. If you're a fan of NBA basketball, no matter the team, no matter the player, if it's the finals, if it's just a regular season game, you do not cheer when somebody gets injured. Because that is a season-ending injury. Like, it finished his season in Golden State. Obviously, he left. It finished his next season, and who knows if his career is going to be the same or not. I hope it is. I hope the best for KD. Um, but still, never cheer when an opposing player gets injured because you wouldn't want that for your team. Um, that's also where people are going to be like, oh, what about Zaza hurting Kawhi in the 2000, what was it, the 2017 no, not the 2017, it was like 2015, 2016-17 NBA, NBA uh, Western Conference Finals. Zaza apparently purposely hurt Kawhi. I totally just talked out of frame. But people think that Zaza purposely hurt Kawhi in the Western Conference Finals, and that's why Golden State won. If you look at it, Zaza couldn't see where his foot was landing. Like you, Once you have momentum, you can't really stop it. But that'll be a different argument for a different day so this is just my opinionated video you guys can hate it you can like it you can i don't care this is my opinion yes i'm a golden state fan it's fine a lot of these haters or bandwagon of other teams are gonna be like oh golden state sucks now they're never gonna go back to the finals blah 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 so you guys you haters are saying we're trash now. Like, yes, we are bad right now. We lost Clay last year to injury. We lost Steph to injury. Draymond's been battling constant injury. We lost KD. We lost Jordan Bell. We signed guys and then traded them. Do you not think after being in the finals for five straight years winning three out of five, do you not think we deserve a break or a rebuild season, which is what this is? This is a rebuild season. Like, teams have these all the time. The Lakers had great runs. They also had rebuild seasons. Now they're back on top because they had plenty of rebuild seasons. The Clippers also had a bunch of rebuild seasons after they traded Blake Griffin and Chris Paul. They weren't the greatest. They weren't the best, but they weren't the greatest. At the same time, they were right in the middle, I would say. But plenty of teams have rebuild seasons. This is our rebuild season. We'll see you next year. That was a bad cut to the end, but that's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yes, it's my personal experience, my personal opinions if you don't like it that's fine i already know the comments are probably going to be filled with oh they're trash oh you're trash you have no eyebrows ed sheeran sister blah 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 typical stuff i always hear but y'all don't realize it doesn't bother me anymore i hope you guys enjoyed this video though like comment subscribe um 
I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, I'll see you in the next one.